Hey, welcome to the Keto Mom page. My name is Stephanie, and we are going to dive into the conversation of repetition, which repetition is a great thing, but if used on the wrong habits, clearly it creates the opposite, right? So I titled this, let me read it to you so I don't screw it up, but we're going through this book called Winning the War in Your Mind. And so here is the title of this live as you're tuning in. And I thought it was great to chat about. It says this, watch your thoughts, they become your words. Watch your words, they become your actions. Watch your actions, they become your habits. Watch your habits, they become your character. And watch your character, it becomes your destiny. So we're going to talk about that as you're tuning in this morning. Uh, good morning. I would love to know where you're tuning in from. I am tuning in from my bedroom in Minnesota. It's going to be an incredible, if you're tuning in, it's live. It's Friday. Happy Friday. You guys want to see a super cool cup I have? I love drinking with a straw. <clears throat> I tell people, if you have issues with water, get yourself a cup. I actually have two shaker bottles with me. One that does not have a straw that I put my own straw in with my water. I have a cup with my ketones in it. But you want to know something so fun about this is I shook up my ketones. And when you take the straw out, there's a bottom piece that latches and you can shake it in here and you can put anything you want. And then you put the straw in and then it's, I can use a straw. I drink way more with a straw. There you go. Quick random tip of the day. Use a straw. All right. Good morning. It is going to be an incredible Friday. And the conversation is around repetition or even the thoughts that are within your mind of the things that you're believing. So here's what. <laughs> Good morning, Jolene. I love it. I love it. All right. Here's a thought for you today. Uh, repetition is the reason for a rut. If you feel like you're in a rut, if you feel like you are not accomplishing the things you want to, if you feel like I can't get out of this, why can't I change this habit? It's because you've probably have done the same things over and over again. So repetition can be great when you're working on building muscle. Repetition in a good way is, you know, I'm not going to the drive through. I am making my lunches every morning. I'm planning my food every Sunday. I'm repeating good habits. Therefore, I'm going to get good results. The same thing goes with the bad habits you have going on, correct? So repetition is the reason for a rut. Listen to this. He says, it's the same for your mind. Not even just like if I don't go to the gym, I'm not going to build my muscle, but the mindset is the same. You want to hear something fascinating? Increasing research proves that the way to get someone to believe a lie is to simply repeat the lie. Psychologists call this the illusory, I don't know if I said that right, truth effect. It's, it's been called a glitch in the human psyche. Here's an example. He says the reason we're so likely to believe something we hear repeated, I'm sorry, something we hear repeatedly is because we use only 10% of our brain. Our inability to engage more of our brain capacity hinders us from disgust. I'm sorry, distinguishing truth from mistruth. Except, guess what? <laughs> my girls are in my room. Except, guess what? We don't only use 10% of our brain. That is a lie. How many of you believe that? Have you ever heard that? We only use 10% of our brain. He says, but a lie most people believe that we only use 10% of our brain. He says, because it's been so repeated, it's been told to us, we believe it. He goes, just like vitamin C. I read this this morning. I forgot. I've read this in the past and I was like, wait, is that a lie? I actually need to go dig in to see if it's the truth. But Pastor Craig Rochelle says this, just like vitamin C can help prevent and cure the common cold, it can't. He goes, people just say it can. And because that people believe it. How many things are you believing as truth when they're actually a lie? It could be things that people have said to you over time. It could be things that you say to yourself, your mindset, right? Like the reason you where you are where you are today is probably because of the thoughts that you tell yourself, the things that somebody has told you in the past. 
and you say it over and over again, it creates a rut in your brain and you use more than 10% of your brain. That's a lie, but it really creates these habits and these systems and these thoughts and you believe it and then you believe it so much that that's where you get stuck, right? He says, how will you replace the old rut with a new pathway. If you've been following our story for a little bit, you know that our daughter, Emery, she's our second daughter, she's 13, in June was thrown from a horse. And so we had some brain work we had to work on. It's been 90 days since she's been, actually longer than that, uh, June, July, August. We've been working on some brain therapy for a long time. One of the things that the doctor is doing, and we're seeing a specialized doctor, is she's redoing, recreating Emery's neural pathways. So what she did is she figured out some of the fears that Emery had. She figured out some of the things that Emery didn't believe in herself, not only working on reversing the concussion, but we've been working on a lot of different things with Emery. And every night before she goes to bed, she has, she says, like we would say affirmations. Do you, does anybody on here do affirmations every morning or night? She says things to redo her brain. She says things to recreate the way she believes in herself, the things that she's seeing to one, eliminate fear and to two, believe that she can do anything that she wants, right? I don't want to dive down that rabbit hole, but I mean like the things that she was fearing, the things that she felt like she couldn't do or she couldn't achieve or the lies she's been believing, we've been reversing that by giving her phrases and affirmations and words to repeat over and over again. I think she has to repeat them until October. I think we're in a 90 day sprint. I'm saying all of that because it's real. And that's what, Af that's what Emery has been doing. And that's what so many of you have been doing in the wrong way. You've been saying things like, I never, I won't, I can't. Right? Oh, you'll never be able to do that. I will never look that way. I could never be that person. I could, I won't, I can't needs to be stopped and you're going to have to start saying different words to redo your pathways in your mind. He goes, you're going to have to write it down, think it and confess it until you believe it. That is going to get you out of that negative rut. This is what I wrote. This is what I wrote in the header of this video, but he says this, he says, there's a word I want you to actually remember. He goes, words are powerful. We talk about this with our kids all the time. We have been teaching our kids this Honestly, since they could talk, truth or trash, right or wrong. And so we would play a game called truth or trash. My mentor, Sherry, introduced us to this. They actually have a game called truth or trash. And so anytime my kids would say something that wasn't true, I would go, is that truth or trash? Just to help them think about it. I can't do this. Is that truth or trash? I'm so... Like I've got teenagers and I've heard, I've, I've legitimately heard my girl say, I'm so ugly. I hate my hair. I hate, I don't like, and I'll be like, whoa, truth or trash. Really? Is that what you're believing for? If there's one thing I want you to take with you on this Friday and going into the weekend is what are the words that you're thinking, but not only thinking like what's coming out of your mouth towards you and towards other people in your life. Your words are powerful. It's biblical. Your words have the power of life and death. And even if you don't believe it, it's true. I don't care if you're like, well, I, I don't think my words have power. I don't care if you don't believe it. It's legitimately a truth. The things that you are speaking over yourself and over your kids and over your spouse and over your job, you're going to reap those words. There's one thing you think about today. Be mindful of the things that you speak and maybe speak less and listen more. All right. So he says, here's one word I want you to understand. And the word, I think I say it right, is automaticity. It's a weird word. Automaticity. He says, automaticity is the ability to do something without thinking about what you are doing and then repeating it allows an action to become an unconscious automatic. And so he gave an idea of like, we don't have to go into the shower and tell our brains what to do. We automatically know we go in the shower and our brains are actually walking us through our day as our, as we naturally automatically do all the things in the shower we need to do, right? You don't think about like, I better scrub my face and I better 
wash my body and I better scrub my toes. Like your body, you naturally do that as your brain is thinking other things. That is the same thing with the way that you believe in yourself, right? He goes, but autom automaticity is also why you keep doing the things you don't want to do. He goes, repetition has led us to in a negative, harmful things becoming automatic. And so here's the one thing I want you to think about. The power of your words, how things can be automatic. What do I need to reverse in order for me to go further, faster, or to go forward? Watching my words, paying attention to my thoughts, recreating different pathways, writing it, saying it, believing it. Some of you just need to get a piece of paper down. And I know that you're get get a journal out and write down the things that you might not believe right now but I have a friend right now that she's saying every single day I am a disciplined person and I know in the past she wasn't because she believed that she wasn't she did she kept telling herself I'm not a disciplined person I can't get up in the morning I can't I can't and now the one phrase that she's saying she might still think oh, in her head it might go you're not going to accomplish this and what she's saying, she's writing it down and she's saying every morning is, I'm a disciplined person. Because the more she says it, the more she writes it down, the more she even says it, it's going to allow her to, in certain moments of her day, either choose yes or no, this choice or a better choice. I am a disciplined person. I'm going to go to the gym. I am a disciplined person. I'm not going to go through the drive through I am a disciplined person. I'm going to get up in the morning instead of hitting the snooze five times. That's the only thing she's telling herself. And I can promise you within the next 30, 60, 90 days, she will be a more disciplined person. You don't have to have this profound affirmation. You need to figure out the one, two, three things that you need to believe in yourself for. And then say it out loud, even if it feels weird. All right, here's a thought for you today, and then I'll let you go on your way. Ready? Watch your thoughts. They become your words, right? Watch your words. They become your actions. Watch your actions, they become your habits. Watch your habits, they become your character. Watch your character, it becomes your destiny. The journey to your destiny starts in your thoughts. The right thoughts lead to the right life. Zig Ziglar says this, repetition is the mother of learning and the father of action, which makes it the architect of accomplishment. Your words are powerful. It starts with your thoughts. Your thoughts, your words become your actions, become your life. I feel like I say that over and over again, and yet it takes me saying it or other people saying things over and over again for it to finally click into somebody's brain. Your thoughts are powerful. And, and I would say this, uh, things that we do for our kids and things that you could do for yourself is what are you watching? Even to the, down to like the TV shows. I mean, Sure, you might be watching something and think it's funny, but if you actually sat back and paid attention to the TV shows and the movies and the music that you're listening to, you might, you might second guess it. You might turn it off. You might be like, what a waste of my life. What's, what things is this putting into my eyesight where I truly believe like it's supposed to be hilarious, but it actually is crude and disgusting? Pay attention to the things you're watching, the things you're listening to, because that creates your thoughts that creates the words that are coming out of your mouth. That creates your actions. And that's what you're going to get in life. There's your thought for the today going into the weekend. Your words are powerful. You are amazing. You can totally recreate those pathways by putting in better movies, better music, better thoughts, affirmations and words, better words, getting around different people, changing your environment. It takes discipline. I am a disciplined person, right? That's what my friend is saying. And I believe that you are a disciplined person. I believe that you have greatness inside of you. If you don't believe it, you do. You created by greatness for greatness. You just have to step into it. If you don't know what that means, if you need some help, send me a message. I would love to help you. So I hope you have an incredible morning, an incredible day. Thank you for tuning in. You can send me a message. You can go to ketomomsecrets.com for the book club to go through different books that we've gone what in the world i think we just lost power <laughs> we're oh our lights are back on huh it's not even raining and i'm losing the internet so something weird's going on i hope you guys have a great day i appreciate you and we'll talk to you very soon